President Trump wasted no time in bringing about his revolution, signing his first executive orders immediately after his inauguration and then finishing his first day on the job with a series of celebrations. Here again is my Nightline co-anchor, Juju Chang. A night of celebration for the new first family. President Donald Trump taking the stage at the first inaugural ball with the new first lady touting his unexpected victory. People that weren't so nice to me were saying that we did a really good job today. He thanked his wife. My number one supporter, Melania, what she puts up with. Oh. Now we really, uh, we really did something that's so special. Ladies and gentlemen, the first couple Donald and Melania Trump. The traditional first dance to the song My Way, made famous by Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. Fitting for the president whose whole campaign was about breaking rules and doing it his way. Melania wearing an ivory off-the-shoulder gown designed in a collaboration between herself and Hervé Pierre. Melania has looked beautiful last night, today, tonight, gorgeous. The couple were joined by Vice President Pence and his wife, along with the Trump children. Ivanka Trump, stunning in a golden Carolina Herrera ball gown, glowing with pride alongside her husband, Jared Kushner. She looked like a princess. She really is the face of the children of the president. And for her to wear that sort of gold fairy tale tulle gown, was also a big moment for her. I mean, this is a big night for all of them. This was the first of three inaugural balls. President Trump spoke at each one. Should I keep the Twitter going or not? Keep it going? The festivities decidedly toned down from past administrations. <laughs> President Obama had 10 balls and was serenaded by Beyonce. My love has come along. The biggest headliner tonight, the Rockettes. It didn't feel like it had the same pulse as what, as what has happened in the past four years or even eight years ago. But it wasn't all partying today. Right before leaving for the balls, the new president already at work in the newly decorated Oval Office. Signing more executive orders tonight with those new golden curtains behind him. One of them, a symbolic gesture promising to minimize the economic burden of Obamacare. Hi, John Francis Kelly. Please. And Vice President Pence quickly swearing in Generals John Kelly and James Mattis for Secretaries of Homeland Security and Defense before heading off to celebrate. But a starkly different scene outside the glamorous balls. Earlier in the day, police and SWAT teams fanning out across the Capitol, spraying pepper spray just blocks from the parade route. They've been using pepper spray out of canisters. So you have the bulk of the protesters right here, and here's the police line right at 13th. Some protesters even lighting trash cans on fire. Then a car. At least 217 were arrested and six officers wounded. When I'm watching the parade route, and there are protesters with expletive late signs along the way, shouting and screaming and angry. Um, is there a historical precedent for that? Do we have yeah, we've that? Yeah, we've had protests over the or decades, particularly during the Vietnam War with President Nixon and then uh, after the disrupted 2000 election with President Bush. What do you make of the protest movement? Well, a protester is American as apple pie, and it's uh, embedded in our First Amendment that you have the right to, to uh, speak out against the government. My problem is when it's just participation without any end in sight. All this on the eve of the planned Women's March on Washington. Organizers estimate nearly 200,000 protesters expected to descend on the Capitol tomorrow to protest the new president. Celebrities like Julianne Moore, Katy Perry, and Olivia Wilde all taking to Twitter, announcing that they, too, will be marching in protest. I... But tonight, after the celebrations end and the protests die down, the entire First Family will spend their first night in the White House. In the morning, America will wake up with a new commander-in-chief and the first days of the 45th presidency. Our thanks to Juju.